medcram.com. Dr. Roger Schwelt here at medcram.com. And today's question is, what is clinical ultrasound? And how are clinicians using it today? And for that, I'm gonna to go to Dr. Joshua Jacquet, who's an ER physician and ultrasound expert. Joshua, tell us a little bit about yourself and about our question today. Well, first and foremost, I'm an emergency physician. So the whole reason why I got into clinical bedside ultrasound was to take care of patients. Um, after I finished emergency medicine residency and became board certified in emergency uh, medicine, then I did additional ultrasound training and subsequently became the ultrasound director at Cleveland Clinic Acro General. Tell us why it's important for our MedCram subscribers to know about ultrasound and how is that going to fit into their practice? Well, I encounter situations in emergency medicine all the time where I wish I had a way to gather more information at the point of care, right when I'm taking care of the patients at the bedside, and uh, history is limited, physical exams limited, I may not be able to get diagnostic testing, but in comes bedside ultrasound. And I feel like with bedside ultrasound, I'm almost um, cheating in a way, because I'm able to look inside the patient in real time and narrow my differential diagnosis, find out more what's uh, going on. And so I found it of, of amazing utility in uh, the emergency room to take care of patients. So Josh, what exactly is clinical ultrasound and who needs to be concerned about it? Who needs to know how to do it or use it? That's a great question. Uh, clinical ultrasound really is just ultrasound that is being used by the clinician caring for the patient, whoever that clinician is. And it's used at the point of care. So in the time when the patient is being cared for and it's used at the bedside. So there's a lot of terms out there, bedside ultrasound, clinical ultrasound, point of care ultrasound, and really clinical ultrasound encompasses any ultrasound that's being performed by the clinician to care for the patient. So the people that need to know are clinicians of all levels. So we have physicians, we have nurse practitioners, physician assistants, we have medical students, paramedics, respiratory uh, technicians, you name it. Uh, uh, echo techs, ultrasound techs, anybody that's part of the care of the patient falls within clinical ultrasound. In my practice, I see people using it from all specialties, cardiologists, internal medicine physician, nephrologists, surgeons, emergency physicians, intensivists, you name it. And what I love about it is also it's kind of creating a common language amongst physicians that we can speak when we're caring for the patient. Joshua, you are such a great uh, professor and teacher, and I know this personally because um, I knew that ultrasound was important for me to know as a critical care physician, and I specifically went to your meeting out there in, uh, in Ohio, in Columbus, and I thought you were such a great uh, instructor. You explained things the way we like to explain things on medcram.com, and um, we've invited you to, uh, to speak for us on medcram.com about ultrasound, uh, among other things as well. Tell us about the course that you've got set up for us. Well, we titled it Clinical Ultrasound because we want clinicians to understand this course is for them. We want them to be able to incorporate bedside ultrasound into their practice, whether they've ever touched an ultrasound machine before or they've been using it for years. And so the course really starts from the core foundations of physics and instrumentation, and we'll be adding additional courses to rapidly get into the clinical applications. And so I really believe that this course is gonna be um, useful to any level of um, clinician out there, and I look forward to continuing adding content. What's been fun for me as an instructor is more and more people come up to me at my institution and say, hey, can you teach me this? Hey, can you teach me that? Because as they see the utility of it, then they want to learn it. And I believe that'll happen um, to our subscribers in the course as they see the utility for it, they're just going to want to learn more. And I was surprised when I learned uh, at your course just how much more accurate and how much quicker ultrasound is than a, a regular chest x-ray in diagnosing, for instance, uh, a pneumothorax. Yeah, I think we're finding out in the literature more and more that uh, ultrasound is uh, way more accurate than our physical exam alone. And it can even rival imaging modalities such as CT and MRI, um, but it does it with less cost, less radiation, and 
uh, much more rapidly. And the clinical correlation happens automatically because the clinicians that are taking care of the patients are the ones performing the ultrasound. Right. So you get that, that loop comes right back much more quickly. Now, what do you have to say to those people watching that say, you know, I've seen ultrasound images and it, it looks like a Rorstat test to me. I mean, I don't know what I'm looking at. Are you going to be able to step them through? And by the time they get done with your course, they're going to be seeing uh, the right stuff? Well, all I can say is uh, um, I'm testimony of that. The thing that got me into ultrasound partly was because I, I was frustrated. I started bedside ultrasound in my residency program and I thought, I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't know how this physician who's teaching me can say they see anything. It looks like black, white, and gray fuzz to me, <laughs> but yet I saw its utility. So it was a challenge um, to learn more. And uh, I can tell you from experience, you know, me who used to look at that and say, yeah, this is all fuzz is now, is now being called an expert. Um, with time and dedication, uh, you definitely, definitely can learn this modality. So if I can do it, I think anybody can do it. Tell us about where the technology is taking us now. Is it, is it unrealistic to think that we'll have a, an app or a uh, little device that we can just plug into our iPhone uh, as we're doing rounds in the morning? Well, what's uh, fun is that the technology is already there and um, we just haven't come around uh, to utilizing it in a way that the technology is available yet, but I, I believe we will. Uh, so historically, yeah, you had those big clunky ultrasound machines and don't get me wrong, they have a lot of features and there's a lot of utility to them and the image quality is great. But over time, the technology has become smaller and smaller and smaller all the while trying to maintain the image quality, the functionality, and uh, we've just had um, that technology even get into nanochip technology where you can have a probe, plug it into your phone, and uh, use a single probe system for the entire body. And so I'm excited to see how that will change the face of medicine. Yeah, and exactly my next question, how much of a paradigm shift or game changer is this technology? when used in the appropriate hands at the bedside? Well, I think uh, you hear people talking about how we've lost our physical exam skills over time uh, because we've been utilizing too much diagnostic testing. And while I think there's some level of truth to that, uh, I, I foresee the clinician that maintains those physical exam skills but recognizes the limitations of them and augments those physical exam and clinical skills with bedside ultrasound, because it's a way that you can look into the body or look at the cause of what you're hearing or seeing on physical exam. For example, you know, you remember in medical school, Roger, of having to learn all of the, you know, S1, S2, S3, the different clicks, rubs, gallops, and murmurs, and then try to distinguish what pathology was there. Well, what if you could just take the ultrasound out of your pocket and put it on the patient and then instead of hearing the Austin Flint murmur, you could see the regurgitation. And that's what we're seeing um, with bedside ultrasound. And it helps us take care of our patients better. We have literature that, that confirms this. Patient satisfaction scores increase. Clinician satisfaction scores increase. The length in, in time to diagnosis uh, improves. Disposition decisions improves. And so um, this has already been impactful in the field of medicine, and I only see it increasing. Well, thanks very much, Dr. Joshua Jacquet, and welcome to MedCram. And I encourage all of our MedCram subscribers, those watching, to go over to MedCram.com to check out this amazing course. Thanks for joining us.